What's up guys, Johnny here, back with a brand new Call of Duty Mobile video. Today, I bring you guys my gunsmith loadout for the MW11 pistol in COD Mobile. Guys, I got the gold camo a couple days ago and I said I was going to bring you guys a video on the gunsmith loadout. There's two stats I'm looking for when I go for the headshots and this build is specific for getting your headshots, grinding for the gold camo. So accuracy and fire rate are the stats you're looking for, in my opinion, but definitely accuracy for obvious reasons. You want your bullet to get where you shoot. And the fire rate's gonna help on moving targets, uh, hitting your headshots more often, make your job easier. So let's get into the loadout, guys. And before we start, make sure you subscribe to the channel for daily cut mobile videos and more loadouts in the future for sure. Now, when I was going for my headshots, I had a chance to tweak and try different options because you can sacrifice accuracy for fire rate and you can sacrifice fire rate for accuracy and the range also extra range you could sacrifice for more accuracy so you have to make decisions for sure there's a lot of little tweaks but this is the best build in my opinion and i'm gonna tell you why so uh yeah i was missing like 25 headshots on the final build and i got it in my last two games and a half so i got rapid fire i got 11 and then i got another 10 plus the game after uh, this is a really good build for that guys. So let's look at the options. First of all is the grip again ADS is, is the stat you're looking for ADS bullet spread accuracy. Now what that means is when you shoot somewhere with the distance your bullet could go a little away from the target. It's like a cone right the bullet spread. So the higher the stats the more often your bullet will go exactly where you want and that grip will help you with that. It's gonna add uh, better accuracy on the bullet spread is gonna reduce your movement speed when you're aiming downside. If you compare the other grips, you see your accuracy is gonna go down 66, 68, and 77 here. So this is the best grip for accuracy. Now trigger action at the bottom is where you get your fire rate. It's your trigger and you're gonna see, you can have more if you want. You can go up to 50, but you're gonna sacrifice a little bit of accuracy. And 4850 is pretty similar, but you're gonna lose a lot and go down to 44 with the other, or if you remove them. And then I played some games with the extra fire rate and no extra fire rate, and you feel the difference, guys. Once you get used to the fire rate, you cannot play without it. It's really strong. And again, this one, like that's the difference. You can go more fire rate, but you won't get the extra accuracy. And the one on the left here, match grade trigger, you get fire rate and an extra uh, bullet spread accuracy. So this is exactly what you're looking for in one option, two extra stats to help with your headshot. So this is probably the most important, in my opinion, again, for uh, the headshots build. So that's two of the five. And then you have to decide, do you want to go for perk? Do you want to go for optics? I would never use optics on the pistol. It's not necessary. The perks is debatable, but you're going to have to sacrifice some stats. So laser here. So this one here, the ADS speed is something everyone's complaining about on the new update. ADS is slow. So you're going to have a little extra aim down sight. It's always good. And again, the stats I was talking about, ADS bullet spread accuracy. So and it's when you're aimed down sight, by the way, if you hit fire, you don't get the bullet spread accuracy, but while aiming down sight, and you'll see I aim down sight all the time when I go for headshots. Now, using something else would help with your hip fire, but it's not necessary. The hip fire kills are easy. You don't need that, and you lose a lot. Uh, you can get extra mobility with the other one, but you'll lose a bit of accuracy. I don't think you're looking for that at all. Now, going on the top, all right? So, you got the barrel here, and you will see uh, I could go the last one on the right. You would get extra mobility and extra accuracy. But the problem is it's conflicting. If you use that, it's a light suppressor you will not be able to equip a muzzle. So it looks like you would have better stats, but in reality, it will remove your muzzle and you will lose the ADS bullet spread again and you will lose a bit of hip fire accuracy, which is not a big deal, but still the bullet spread is what you're looking for. So it's not exactly as big an upgrade as it looks like, but you have 77 accuracy here. You would not really gain an extra point and you will lose the muzzle, but if you do it, uh, that's a that's a big upgrade here and at the same time though you would be able to go and get your extra mag if you want 
I don't think it's necessary. I no longer use the extra mag. And the thing with the barrel here is if you change it and you go for a suppressor, something you will lose is the uh, the extra range damage. You lose some damage with distance. And if you watch Hawk's Nest videos, he explained that at close range, weapons have more damage. At medium, long range, they lose some damage. So when you have extra range, your bullets will do more damage with distance. Uh, I think it's not 100% necessary if you go always for short range kills for your headshots. But if you happen to get longer range, you don't want to have to use an extra bullet for your kill if you don't have to. So that might help a little bit. But definitely for the bullet spread, it's bolt. Uh, it's a good, a good attachment. So that's my build, guys. Muzzle, barrel, laser, trigger, and grip. Uh, no extra mag, no optic, and no perk. So once again, if you guys want to play around, try to remove one and try something else, you can customize your weapons. That's the whole point of the new gunsmith feature. Now that's my final build. Even after I was done with the headshots, I don't think I would change anything right now. I'm used to it. It feels really good. It kicks up a little bit and it's not a bad thing while going for headshots. If you aim for the chest and you're gonna shoot and kick a little bit uh, up, it's not bad at all. And you're gonna maybe wanna burst at long range sometimes, but at close range is perfect. Super fast, super strong. So try it out guys, it worked for me, hopefully it's gonna work for you. And leave me a comment below if you enjoyed the, the video. Now if you tried the build, if it worked for you, let me know, I'll be super happy. So that's it for today's video, smash like, don't forget to subscribe, I will bring you guys more. Till then, watch my other videos, take care.